Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an eye look uh, using one of my rearranged Natasha Denona palettes. So I took um, took out the shades from my Camel palette and uh, also my Star palette and my Five Pan Number no. Two palette. And this is one of the creations that I came up with. So instead of I find that I'm not reaching for the Star palette as much as I should be, um, and maybe it's due to the size. So I decided I would pick some of my favorite shades, easy wearable shades, um, and stick them into this five pan palette to get more use out of it. So that's the eye palette I'm gonna be using today. And then for the face palette, I'm going to be using the Dalton Refocus Glow palette. Um, so we have a highlighter here, a bronzer, a blush. I'll be using those three shades. And then there's also a Refocus powder, which is a, um, kind of a finishing powder with a slight sheen to it. It's really pretty. Um, so first, I'm gonna, I've already done my concealer, my brows, and my foundation. So I'm gonna go into the uh, this eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use this shade for my crease. Next, I'm going to go into the dark brown color at the end to add definition. Um, and I should say, the four colors I'm primarily going to be using are, I'm going to use this in the inner corner, this on the lid, this shade in the crease, and then the deep brown as liner, and then also ever so slightly in the outer corner since it's very pigmented. So I'm going to go in with that deep brown on the outer corner, you can see just the slightest tap yields that much pigment. And uh, the brush I was using for my crease was the Wayne Goss 03 brush, which is a nice big fluffy brush. And then this is the Wayne Goss number no. six brush. It's, I like using it in the outer corner and it can also um, be a good blending brush if you use it direct on. All right, now I want to go in with this shade here on the lid and when I use shades like that I always like to use my NYX glitter glue primer uh, just so it helps the shadow stick better and um, make it the most pigmented it can be. So I'm going to take that on the inner two uh, three-fourths of the lid. And I'm going to use one eye at a time because I found that that glitter glue um, can dry more quickly and when it does the shadow obviously isn't as, doesn't stick as well as when it's slightly wet and a little tacky. So you can see how foiled that glitter glue helps that shadow to be um, and it's just a nice pretty I believe this is Bellatrix and I'll be sure to list all the shades since they are um, pulled from other palettes I'll be sure to list the shades below um, but I believe that is Bellatrix from the star palette so I'm gonna go back in and just help blend that outer corner with the uh, metallic shade All right, and now I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more of the crease color just to blend everything, make sure everything's blended as it should be. All right, so to define the eyes, I'm gonna take one of my favorite brushes, um, the Wayne Goss 08 brush. It's this super tiny eyeliner brush, and I don't really use 
eyeliners, specific eyeliners. I just like to use some of my darker eyeshadows and use this brush since it is so precise. It can create really thin lines and get close to the lash line. And so I just like to um, use that to stamp it along the lash line and then um, kind of blend it out. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, now I'm going to take um, the same brush that I used for my crease brush um, for my crease and I'm just going to um, bend it like this to make it thin and just use whatever's left on it, maybe a little bit extra, to go up under the lash line with that same crease color. For the inner corner, I'm going to take this first um, bright color here and with my Refer 03 brush, it's just a small um, pencil brush, and I'm going to take that in the inner corner to add some brightness. I think I'm happy with that and it's a nice pretty kind of rose gold um, easy neutral eye look um, so now let's go into the face and then lastly I'll do my lashes so for the face like I said I'm going in with this Dalton refocus glow powder I like to do my bronzer first so that's what I'm going to go in with now and I'm going to use my refer 05 brush All right, and now I'm gonna go in with that same, um, the blush from that same Refocus Glow Powder and using the Refer of Four brush. It's just a kind of dense angled cheek blush, uh, blush brush. The reason I, I've really been liking this palette, um, actually I like all the Dalton face palettes because they're kind of softly pigmented, so it's easy to build them up. I feel like they have just the right amount of pigment. And this palette in particular um, has their popular refocus powder, um, which is nice, but also the highlight in here I feel like is new to them. It's very finely milled. There's no, it's just like a nice sheen on the cheeks. It's very natural. It's not chunky glitter like some of the highlighters in their other palettes. So I really hope they continue with that formu formulation. Alright, now I'm going to uh, use that highlighter from the Refocus Glow. And I should say, this palette is very nice for fair, light, um, medium skin tones. And they did just come out with a, I believe it's called Afterglow. It's the same um, layout, but just deeper tones for deeper skin tones. So it was nice to see a small brand like that branch out to be more inclusive. You can see how, um, hopefully you can, how bright that highlighter, it can be built up. It reminds me a lot of the um, Laura Mercier baked highlighter, which is also one of my favorites. 
um, but it's just a super natural sheen to the skin. All right, and now just to make sure everything's blended, I'm going to use the uh, refocus powder from that palette um, just over here. I do find it helps blur some of your pores here and um, your cheek area. So that's an added bonus. All right, so now I'll do my lips and add mascara and come back and show you the final. All right, so I'm back and here's the final look. Um, hopefully you like it. Um, so for lips, I went in, and a, went in with a myriad of um, products just because I have a lot of pink lip products and some that are kind of warm. And so to find something that's kind of neutral is um, a little challenging for me. I'm still searching for the perfect nude that's not like a pinky nude. I found that pinky nude. Um, but basically, long story short, I used this Buxom lip liner in the shade Stealth and um, <laughs> used the uh, Becca Sugar lipstick. Um, which is, this is a mini size, um, but that is a pretty nude on my skin tone and undertone. And then I used this eyeliner, um, which is just a brightening eyeliner um, in a nude color in my waterline, and that's from Doll 10. It's the Hydrolux Smoothing Eyeliner. And for mascara, I just used what I've been using currently, which is the Doll 10 Illegal. So I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and um, watching how I used one of my custom uh, Natasha Denona palettes to achieve this look. And thank you for watching. Bye.